Mama Bay, um, please just rise and wave. Uh, honorable members of the County Assembly of Homa Bay, Tafadali Msimame, Mtambulike, Asante Sana, it's a full house uh, here. Members of County Assemblies from different uh, counties, you will be recognized as we, as we proceed on. Senator. Uh, thank you, Honorable Governor. Your Excellency the President, Excellency Ambassadors, other governors present, Honorable Members of Parliament, Distinguished Leadership, I didn't know I was going to speak so fast uh, because I thought we'd get some breathing uh, space. But let me take this opportunity on behalf of the leadership of Homa Bay County to welcome the president to Homa Bay. It is a bay of endless potential. And we are here, we have no contradiction being present as leadership from this region to sit with the leadership of the national government because Article 187 of the, gov of, of the Constitution encourages collaboration between national and county governments. And so we are here properly, and uh, our conscience is very clear that the national government and the county governments must work together to unlock the opportunities that exist at the grassroots. <laughs> Devolution reminds me of the parable of talents that you find in the Bible, that people were given talents according to their ability. There are some who decided to bury their talents and there are those who decided to multiply their talents. Gladys Wanga in Homer Bay has chosen not to bury that talent. She has chosen to invest that talent. And that is why today, as a county and as a region, we are proud to host this second investment conference. Within one generation, perhaps Homer Bay will be the Dubai of this country. Perhaps Kirinyaga, where the distinguished chair of the COG, uh, would be the Abu Dhabi of this region. But definitely there will be some counties that will not feature anywhere on the map because perhaps their leadership have chosen to bury their talent. As I conclude, we here in Homer Bay are very prayerful. And Mr. President, we continue praying for you because as fishermen, we have a saying about the captain of the ship. The captain of a boat in Luo is called Madar. And Madar is called a god. There's something we say that madar enya such ye. Such that if you wish the captain bad omen, then all of you are going to sink. So we cannot afford to wish you ill because you are the captain of the ship. And we are all in it. And if we wish you ill, we are all going to, to collapse and sink in the, in the lake. Your Excellency, I want to conclude again by going to the Bible. And I'm reminded of uh, a scripture in the book of Psalms that says the stone that the builders refused has become the chief cornerstone. Your Excellency, Railomolo Dinga is that stone. And we hope and we pray that he will become the chief cornerstone at the Africa Union. And we thank you for your commitment. We thank you for your friendship. We thank you for your support. There are many areas that we will agree on, but there will still be areas that we will disagree on. And that is the beauty of our democracy. That is the beauty of our political system, that the minority will have their, their say, while the majority have their way. Thank you, and we welcome you to Homer Bay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, our Senator, for that wonderful, uh, those wonderful remarks. I would like to recognize the Deputy Governor of Homer Bay County, uh, Honorable H. His Excellency Joseph Oyugi Magwanga, Asante Sana, Nanajua Tuko na Deputy Governors Wengi, Tafadhali um, Ayub Savula, Deputy Governor of Kakamega, is here, uh, Bwana Kitezo, Deputy Governor of Vihiga, is also here. Let me recognize, oh, and Deputy Governor of Bomet is also present here. Asante ni sana. Uh, and the Deputy Governor of Embu is also present here. Asante ni um, sana. Uh, I want to recognize, because I didn't see him on that line, Honorable Karoli Omondi, MP for Suba South, Tafadali, Asante sana. Uh, MP Jalango of Langata, Asante sana. MP, uh, Senator Ojenda of uh, Kisumu, Asante ni sana. I want to recognize in a special way 
our Vice Chancellor of Tom Boyer University, Professor Chola. <laughs> Professor, you have moved this university in a mere six, seven years from a farmer's training college into a world-class university that Tom Boyer is. We thank you, and I know you are supposed to make remarks, but because of time constraints, you, we will just recognize you and let, and let you know that we immensely thank you um, for your support. Um, your Excellency, with your permission, I will invite a few of our partners here, very few, and they will make very, very uh, small remarks in a very short time because I know they understand that we are now at 45 minutes out of the 48 minutes that were left. So they know that 30 minutes of those are yours. And we have here, Your Excellency, governors. We have Governor of um, CIA here, uh, His Excellency Orengo, Governor of Machakos here, Her Excellency Wavinyandeti, Governor of Nakuru here, Her Excellency Susan Kihika, Governor of Embu here, Her Excellency, she's also chairman. We call her chairman of, you know, the party we would like to be bigger than, but is trying to be bigger. You know, we say, you know, anyway. Chairman uh, and Governor of Embu, Her Excellency Cecily Barire, and of course the Chair of the Council of Governors, Anwar Maguru, and Governor of Kericho County, Eric uh, Mutai, and we are very, very happy to have the Governors uh, present here with us. So uh, if I invite you, please just know that we have a very short time, and I'd like to invite Gatsby Africa, if you can just take your two minutes um, to come. Uh, uh, yeah. Please, uh, Bwana Sam, haraka kidogo, uh, tafadhali, ni dakika ni mbili, na tutamalizia hapo. Yeah. So we will have Major General Otieno.